All right, everyone. So right here, I have sort of the mood board that I think best represents the cottage core aesthetic. So if you'll take a look, you'll notice that some of the most common colors are sort of neutrals in the brown color family, as well as many, many different shades of green and yellow. And there are also pops of color as well. In particular, uh, mushrooms are very popular in cottagecore, and as a result, you'll sometimes see a really nice pop of red. But overall, the point of cottagecore is to sort of bring you back to a simpler time, as well as to make you just feel incredibly warm, cozy, serene, and relaxed. Cozy is exactly the goal we're going for here, and it's obvious why so many cozy gamers decide to make their gaming setup a cottagecore theme. So next we're going to take a look at some of the individual colors used, in particular sort of the main colors that people use and then the accent colors they'll use to decorate as well. You see here in that green of course is super super popular for cottagecore gaming setups. And two of these pictures were from the first slide because, again, this is so common and widely, widely used. So greens can range from very dark emeralds to very, very light sage and olive type greens. As you'll notice, some of the most common accents are colors like white, brown, and neutrals such as tan or cream. In this picture on the right here, green is used as a main color, but is also the color of the wall itself. So this is a very, very green setup. If in particular you really want a color in your setup to pop, the easiest way to do that is to use that color throughout the setup, but as well to have the entire wall that color. Or if you want something a little subtler, which is where they have a more neutral wall, and in this case, I believe they're both white walls, and these more neutral desktops, whereas the one on the right is very, very uh, dark and rustic. And again, so much of it depends on your personal style. Moving on, we see that, of course, neutrals are a huge color that are used in cottagecore gaming setup designs. So one of the most fun things for me to see as someone who, you know, appreciates a good aesthetic is combining neutrals with a really strong pop of color. As an example, in the bottom, like I said before, you can see that they have an overall neutral theme but they also have some autumn colors that come in on the bottom left and top which i feel really balances out the space and makes it look a little more in depth a little more vivid uh whereas if you want maybe something a little dreamier a little more subtle then you might go for something on the top here or on the right and especially if you want something dreamy, you see these moon accents, this cloud here. And of course, the pompous grass is always a great touch. Having a delicious drink is always a great touch. Finally, one of the staple colors of cottage core is white because there is so much you can do with white. And as you can sort of see here in this one on the left, it's a white and green setup. W one interesting thing in interior design is the idea of the 60-30-10 rule, which is that 60% of your setup should be a single color, 30% should be an accent color, and then another 10% should be just a very subtle like pop of color. And this is done really, really well in this white setup because you can see about 60% of it is that white 30% is the green, and then that other 10% comes from some brown accents and tan accents that you see throughout the setup. Meanwhile, on the right here, this is really cool because it's just white, 
and then a very dark earthy brown and I think it's really really beautiful and very striking because there's that sharp contrast between a color like white and a very very dark color like this dark brown you see here so if you're looking for something that really makes an impact when you look at it keep in mind that you can make these big contrasts with your color choices now we're gonna dig into some of the staples of cottagecore gaming setup design the first staple of course is plants that includes things like greenery vines or you may look up ivy garlands is another way i've seen it be described pompous grass faux potted plants faux flowers potted cacti and hanging green ivy and all of this serves just to make your space feel more natural more in tune with nature and because nature is such a calming force for so many of us the result is this very cozy safe sanctuary type of feeling for the space you're creating the second staple of course is lights and there are three main kinds that you'll really see in cozy gaming setups that includes these nano leaf hexagon lights from apple and they come in many many different shapes not just hexagons uh, but the cool thing about that is you can individually pick the shades for each panel and as a result you can create some really unique deep designs uh, then you'll look at things like neon signs so in the two examples at the bottom the first one is just the word love which is so simple and classic and beautiful and then in the second photo it's let's game in green which is again perfect for cottagecore and then finally people will often use fairy lights especially if they're intertwined with ivy garlands and greenery and that can again really help to build depth in your space and make it light up of course giving you more of an atmosphere finally a huge 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 staple in cottagecore is the idea of wildlife and especially animals so naturally we already discussed plants animals are next so some of the most common animals you'll see depicted in cottagecore design are things like forest friends so think deer bears birds squirrels there are so many different kinds of foresty creatures and that really blend well with the cottagecore aesthetic frogs are another huge love of so many cottagecore uh, designers and cozy gamers bears i've seen quite a few of especially rilakkuma bears which is its own sort of series i don't know much about it but that's a big uh, draw for many people. Leafeon is another one I see a lot, which is a Pokemon. And then another Pokemon I see quite frequently is Eevee, which is the pre-evolution to Leafeon, uh, which is more simple and brown, whereas Leafeon is obviously very green. Uh, bunnies, you see so many bunnies, rabbits, they're naturally adorable. Bunnies are just cute no matter what, so if you're looking for something cottage corn that also feels extremely cute maybe you're looking for something that's kind of kawaii where you're blending those two aesthetics together bunnies are a great choice and then of course mushrooms which like i've said is a huge staple of the aesthetic now we're gonna look at some individual gaming setups and go through what makes them work and how they ascribe to the aesthetic while making the design their own. Okay, so this one is from Mushroom Parasol on Twitter, which is now X, but I still call it Twitter. <laughs> um, one thing that I think is so smart about this design is if you look on the right side, you'll notice there's these hanging plants and these plants sort of bordering the PC, which hides it while making it look beautiful and i think that's really really smart and still having this very functional space 
And then we look at the top as well. On top of the PC, you'll notice there's a ring light, incredibly functional. She uses it for streaming, gaming, obviously. And her setup bolsters her goals instead of hindering them. Then we see this beautiful, beautiful Build-A-Bear frog on top of the PC as well. So cute, perfect for the theme. And another thing you'll notice is that many of these cozy gamers will choose to use a wallpaper and that can be sort of the center of your design because often it really pulls all of the design elements together and I think Mushroom Parasol here did a great job doing that. Next we are moving on to Kayleen's Coffee's gaming setup from Twitter. One thing that I think is so cool here is that you've seen the setup in pictures throughout the presentation. This is just a really close-up look so you can see how amazingly detailed like the level of attention to detail in the setup is incredible. You'll see these wood cutouts here which depict I would assume some her her favorite gaming franchises. So we see Kingdom Hearts, we see Legend of Zelda, we see Animal Crossing, and then of course we see just a, a Game Boy. Above it, we see, first of all, this little um, pixel art type thing. And I'm not sure exactly what those are, but I will find out what they are and link to it in the comments because I see it in a lot of setups. You'll notice that her Nintendo Switch is decorated with this greenery type skin and both the joy cons have their own shade of green as well and tiny little uh paw print thumb grips if we look on the left here we see this beautiful beautiful moon lamp in the color and that is sort of seen throughout the gaming setup because this is a very very green setup and finally if we look at the bottom left this is where it really is like, that is attention to detail because you've seen that her microphone has sort of a slice of tree type wooden platform. The bark is still rough on the outside, but it's this flat disc in the center. But then on top of that, because that was not enough, she went even further, put this beautiful, very cottage core, very sort of retro doily over it which creates this beautiful juxtaposition between the wood and rustic themes of cottagecore as well as sort of the you know farmhouse charm that is also very much part of the aesthetic and then this is probably one of my favorites as a fellow pokemon lover this is from wisterium on instagram let's let's start at the top because one thing you'll see throughout this design is her love for Leafeon. And this is a Pokemon symbol that's repeated multiple times all throughout this design. But we also see more grass Pokemon, such as Shaman, such as Bulbasaur. And then we also see touches of Eevee as well. But predominantly, this is Leafeon's corner. This is Leafeon's gaming setup. One thing I really enjoy about the setup is these white asymmetric shelves in the center above the PCs and their lack of symmetry really helps to make it look more natural. And again, nature is very much what you're looking to recreate with this uh, design aesthetic. If you go down, you'll see, well, if you look at any of it, you'll see there's plants everywhere. So much greenery, so many little details. And finally, if we take a look at the bottom, there is room for drinks, which I feel like isn't always necessarily thought of. Uh, but there is room to do things. There's room to have other things uh, in the area. And I think that should be an intentional design choice to make sure that you don't feel crowded in your gaming setup. Alright, finally, let's take a look at some budget setups that I think are not only beautiful and functional, but also very affordable and possible to recreate on a budget. 
This is the first one, and I couldn't find the designer behind this. If anyone knows the original creator, please let me know, and I will try to link to their socials uh, in the description because I don't want to steal anything, but I did want to share this with all of you just because it's so beautiful and so perfect for cozy gamers on a budget. So if you look above the PC here, you'll notice that she chose to design the space by putting some accent pieces on top of the PC itself, as well as you'll see the controller there. There's this tiny little Bulbasaur plush, this little potted plant, and it's very subtle and very cute and probably created using things she already had. So she didn't need to go shopping for this uh, corner, I would assume. If you look at the top shelf here, you'll notice that she has these framed art pieces. And the cool thing about these art pieces is you can get them for extremely cheap, have them printed extremely cheap, say at like a Walgreens. And you can buy these pieces on places like Etsy or Redbubble or something like that. Sometimes you can even find them for free. And you can purchase these very simple frames at places like the dollar store. And a lot of people think I'm kidding when I say this, but you can absolutely get a beautiful photo frame for a dollar or, you know, just a handful of dollars, depending on wherever you go. Another thing I really love about this setup is just this very simple but very effective accent of this boho garland, sort of just these puff balls on what looks like to be possibly twine. And that brings this additional layer of texture and uniqueness and artistry to this setup that I think is just so cute and fun, but also, of course, very cottagecore. The colors and the textures really do bring an extra layer of depth and sort of fill in that blank space between the PC and the shelf without being overwhelming or taking attention away from either the PC or the art pieces. Finally, if you look at the bottom, you'll notice, you know, she's got a delicious drink that she's having. So she has enough room to do that, which again, I think is so important and so frequently overlooked. You'll also notice she has this very soft sage green desk mat along with this sort of sage green uh, keycap setup where she has a couple of her computer keys in this green color. And this sort of helps to tie everything together because you'll see there's green on this top shelf here, you'll see there's these hints of green above the PC, and finally these hints of green at the bottom of the setup as well, which really helps to balance the overall effect by having all of the colors tie together throughout. All right, and then finally, I just thought this was so simple, but so perfect. And again, I could not find the person who designed this. So if you do know, or if you are that person, please link me to their socials because I want to give them credit. But one of the things I love so much about this setup is that this is a setup anyone can make. And I feel like most people would be able to afford as far as the decor goes. But if you look at you know, the bottom here is very, very simple. We have this desk mat that is cottagecore themed, looks sort of like plants, um, a window, maybe a cafe sort of area, perhaps. We have this wrist rest that is a cloud. Again, we see those uh, green keyboard keycaps to, again, sort of tie the green throughout the whole vision, if you will. And then, Right beneath the PC, there's a little ledge to keep it sort of elevated. And on this ledge, there are just a couple, you know, figurines and plushies that all have this green cottage core aesthetic. And again, these are probably things that the designer already had because it's very clear, you know, she she likes uh, Leafeon, there's a Totoro, and I don't know if these are little vegetables, this this guy, 
a little frog. And then finally it ties it all together with this very simple potted plant. I think this is so well done and simple and smart because it still looks balanced, it still looks intentional. I just think it's really beautiful and impressive to be able to make something so interesting with so little, um, so few pieces, so few ingredients. But overall, that is the video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if there's an aesthetic you want me to do next and what you thought of this, because maybe it's something where I forgot some things or there are some things I should add or take out. No matter what, let me know. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely week. Goodbye.